What's up, Buttercups? My name is Shane, and today I am finally bringing you my 2015 favorites. I can't even believe that 2015 is over, but I already kind of have some exciting things going on in 2016, so I'm hoping to make it a fantastic year, and hopefully a lot of new things and awesome things will happen. So anyway, so I don't typically do favorites every single month. I only do favorites on those particular months where I genuinely have found new products that I really love and that I want to share. Sometimes though, within those favorites, I'll include maybe a other YouTuber that I've been really enjoying that month or a book or a movie that I've seen. But this is strictly beauty. My channel is hev heavily related to beauty and all things beauty so I compiled if you guys could just see the pile that I have on my desk in front of me it's insane I see products that I bought months ago and products that I bought last month but all of them have a special place in my heart and most of them have a special place in my everyday routine and the products that I don't are products that I would repurchase a thousand times over. So I'm going to stop rambling because I can already tell this is going to be definitely a lengthier video. So I hope you don't mind. And let's see what I have for my 2015 favorites. Okay, I don't even, literally, I don't know where to start. So I think I'm going to start with the more body related favorites uh, and then I think we'll go into hair and then we'll go into makeup there is just so much that I feel like I'm gonna forget everything so I'm gonna move it onto my bed as I talk about it to make sure I don't miss any products but if I'm all over the place I'm really sorry okay where to start so I guess I will start with perfumes uh, yeah, perfumes and lotions we'll start with. So, some of my favorites for this month, I don't talk about perfumes all the time on my channel. Perfumes are one of those weird things that I don't like to spend a lot of money on perfumes and I change my perfumes a lot. So, I picked out the ones that I always reach for depending on the day or the occasion. Um, but this is one. I got it from Rainbow a long, long, long time ago and I don't know if it's ever made it into a favorites and I don't know why. Um, if you don't know what Rainbow is, it's kind kind of like I don't know, it's on the cheaper side of things. They have a lot of knockoff uh, type of things. I did a haul quite a while ago. They really do have a lot of cute stuff, but they have a lot of perfumes. Now these are knockoff perfumes. This is not missing a cap. <laughs> this is like the knockoff of Pink Friday from Nicki Minaj. So Nicki Minaj's is like the actual, you know, the woman's body like this one has, but it has a head as well. This one did not come with a head, but I love this perfume. I can't even explain it to you I'm not going to try to explain it to you um, but it's just a really 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 nice wearable every day very soft and florally scent the next scent has been a favorite of mine for a really long time. I've been using this since high school, and again, I don't think it's ever made it into a favorite. Even this bottle is so old, oh my goodness, but and the cap is missing. But this is the Dream Angels Heavenly Scent from Victoria's Secret. I just think this scent is just so nice. It's so seductive. Whenever I kind of want to feel sexy, or if I have like a date night, I definitely go for the scent. And I think this bottle alone was maybe $15 so I know Victoria's Secret can tend to be on a little bit of the pricier side but for 15 bucks I'll buy it again uh, speaking of Victoria's Secret the last like body mist type of thing I have is from pink and it's the uh, pink with a splash warm and cozy all over body mist again just a really really nice wearable not heavy at all it's just kind of one of those perfumes that if somebody hugs you you smell really good but they can't really smell you if you just walk into a room do you know what I mean but again it's just super nice and I'm not even going to try to explain it. Okay, so we will move on to, I guess, like body care outside of the shower. So this is more like body moisturizers, I guess we'll do. Okay, so I will start with my face moisturizer. You guys have seen this product in a thousand of my tutorials, if not 
well not all of them because I never showed this step in every single one because I figured you guys got the hint but I this is actually not very old um, I bought this maybe maybe three months back and um, three months of it and I'm only about halfway through Wow, you cannot see that oh, a little bit I'm about halfway through now but I love this stuff this is a drugstore drug store moisturizer it's from ponds and it's just the dry skin cream um i have a dry to normal skin i get oily very very rarely um, more so in the summertime if i'm sweating a lot or something but this works wonders on my face and it does take a little bit to sink in i've realized because i notice a lot of times in my vlogs if i just apply this i look super shiny um, but it is a terrific moisturizer so maybe even to use it at night is a good idea so the lotion that I have been reaching for almost every single day for the past several months or so is this one from pink and it's the fresh and clean body lotion it's in the hot pink container I know pink has a lot of body lotions that look like this in several different colors but this one I am just obsessed with the scent it is just it's so nice it just it puts me in a good mood to smell this Oh, I can't explain the smell. I'll never be able to explain the smell, but it's so, so, so nice. It is a perfumed lotion, so if that's not your thing, I wouldn't recommend this, but I use it in the morning. If I want, like, a deep moisturizer, I use something else, but for just, like, a quick my skin needs a little bit of moisture and I want to smell really good at the same time, I reach for this. And I love the, the pump. Okay, so this, why why am I like on a theme of Victoria's Secret? I don't shop at Victoria's Secret often at all, but they had come out with, now I don't know if this, this line is new. Uh, I just saw it for the first time. Uh, I think it's like a line of maybe four products and this is number four in the line. But this is the Victoria's Secret Weightless Body Oil with Shea Cotton Moisture Complex. I always use this right after a shower or like when my skin is still damp so it is an oil um again i do like the application or the applicator house just a little hole so you have more control of the oil but i love this stuff it doesn't really have a scent in my opinion it does but not like a purposely perfumed scent maybe it is but i no, I mean, it has a little bit of a scent, but nothing crazy, but I love using this right after the shower. So, I'm trying to organize this still. Um, okay, I guess I will show... Uh Ooh, okay. Well, this is kind of like on the same idea of a moisturizer. So this little gem of mine is actually filled with uh, baby oil, which is one of my favorites, but also jojoba oil, which originally came in here, is also one of my favorites. Um, I just ended up filling it up with some baby oil um, after I ran out of my jojoba oil, but between this and some baby wipes this is what I use to get off my makeup I had been trying to find um, makeup wipes that I really really liked and I really enjoyed the say yes to cucumbers one I actually gave them gave a pack away in my first giveaway because I love them I really do but I felt like I kind of went through them sort of quickly and I wear a lot of makeup so I was spending a lot of money granted the packs was only like four something but when you have to buy them as often as I did the price really added up so these are two very inexpensive items and they take off my makeup wonderfully all right moving on to like bath and shower products I only have three products to show you and two are very very similar so the two that are similar I am obsessed with I found these at Ulta and I think they're Ulta exclusives to be totally honest but they're three in one smoothies I have one in so very summer or I'm sorry fresh berries and I have one in peppermint stars for the holidays um I was just kind of browsing Ulta I had never been to an Ulta until about maybe six months ago I found one relatively close to where I live and I was just kind of browsing and seeing what they had what they offered and I came across this one first and I loved love 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 the smell of it and then I came across this one several months after that and 
love the smell of this again this one definitely smells more of a peppermint but I thought this would be terrific for the holiday season um, you can use them as a shower gel a shampoo and a bubble bath I don't use them as shampoos because I feel that three-in-one products always severely dry out my hair which most of you know I already deal with dry hair problems so I didn't want to use them as a shampoo and I have never yet used them as a bubble bath but as a shower gel as I use these two products they're amazing they smell so so good the other uh <laughs> oh my goodness the other bath product that I have I got in um I got this close to Halloween where I got those um what was it? It was called like creepy crawly or like jitter bug or something along those lines. It was two words. Um, but one of the products that came in here was a shower jelly from Lush in the, uh, I don't want to say flavor, but in the brand and not brand, you know what I mean? It says Nightwing on it. This product is just unique and it's awesome it originally looked like a bat um you know when it wasn't you know torn to shreds but it's just such a fun product to use so at first when i first got it i was like how the hell do you use this i just break off like a little piece and i'll just wash my body with it it smells oh, so so good uh, I feel like these would definitely tell you what they smell like. Okay, shower jelly. When the dark night rises, jump into the shower with the soothing aloe vera and zesty lime juice sidekick. You can smell the lime in it. I think that's what smells so good. It's just such a fun product. And I think these are relatively inexpensive. Again, I got them in like a little like bat. Uh, they had a bat and a jack-o'-lantern thing. Um, I got the little bat one and it came with this and then the Lord of Misrule shower gel. My goodness. Okay, we will move on to... Uh, I'm gonna call this the miscellaneous. Because there's some hair products, but there's also some, like, because we're talking about hair, a little bit of hair removal products. But then there's also a pedicure thing, which doesn't fit in anything. Oh, actually, okay, we're just going to roll with it. <laughs> okay, so some of my hair products are, uh, this is from Aussie, and it's a hair insurance heat protecting shine spray. I am awful, awful, awful with protecting my hair, but because I'm trying to grow it out, um, I really know, I knew I needed to invest in a, <laughs> invest, this thing was like five bucks, I knew I needed to buy a heat protecting protect and spray especially if I wanted to have my hair continue to grow so I picked this up and it's pretty good I mean it's in my favorite so I really do enjoy using it it dries fairly quickly and it's cheap and you can pretty much find it at any drugstore really this bad boy has been in my life for way too damn long but it is my con air teasing brush this is my best friend my hair is a little bit whoop, ratchet because I am filming at like nine o'clock at night after a full day of doing stuff um but I love 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 teasing my hair I'm a huge fan of big hair and I don't think there has been a day <laughs> this past year well besides hair washing day any styling day that I have not used this is an awesome brush again really really affordable can find them at any drugstore love my teasing brush uh, we will move on to hair removal products so this bad boy kind of looks like a tampon um this thing is awesome again another drugstore gem I love this thing it is a little like hair removal thing and I would turn it on there's a little like on off thing you would move it up whoops okay this comes off <laughs> you would move this up oh my goodness why can't I okay so you would slide it up and down to turn it on and off it takes one triple a battery so you don't have to go crazy with batteries unfortunately I wish it was double a but it's not um but I had been using this thing forever especially in like the little like stash areas it's just like a little electric trimmer it is amazing and going kind of on that route of of an electric trimmer if I can get this thing on. Uh, talking about like hair removal of the face are these bad boys and I actually have three of them but I don't know where the third one is but they're little like you know little like razors and I just take the little 
plastic piece off and can you kind of see that it's just a tiny little razor and um, I had watched a video from Carly Bible actually about shaving your face and she recommended these and said that if you shave off like the peach fuzz and stuff that's on your face your foundation is going to go on a lot smoother and I had a lot of peach fuzz especially like right where the jaw curves right here and it was super annoying because my foundation would get really really clumpy there and I noticed once I followed their tutorial and started shaving my face that a, it doesn't seem to be growing back any thicker or more. I feel like that'd be a concern of some people's, but I haven't noticed any difference in my peach fuzz when it does grow back, but the application of my foundation does go on much smoother. And I got a three pack for maybe two dollars at Walmart. You can find them like where the fake nails are in that like unique little beauty tool section at your local drugstore. <laughs> Okay, this a bad boy, because we're speaking of removal, oh, I'll put the cap on. This was totally a spur of the moment buy, and I am so glad that I bought it. It's this thing, which I don't remember the name of it. I think it's called like Perfect Petty or something like that. It's an as seen on TV product, but it, it comes off like that. There's a little cap, and this is almost like almost sandpaper roll, but to turn it on, you just you can see the on off you literally just turn it that is terrifying but if you have really dry feet or like really bad calluses on your feet this like grinds them down to nothing i again i'm a very dry person <laughs> my feet were very very dry and i wanted to give this a try and my feet have never felt better they have never felt healthier and i'm so 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 grateful for this product i think it was about 30 something dollars um it did also come with a second little sandpaper roll type of thing so i feel like it does you know you do have to replace that after a while and i'm not sure how much it is to replace these little rolls but I love this so if you're embarrassed to go to the salon to get a pedicure or just don't like your feet touch like I'm extremely extremely ticklish on my feet so I hate getting pedicures so petty at home okay <laughs> where do I begin this is where it gets into the makeup so I guess I will show you okay I'm seeing like a few like Okay, okay, okay. I'm seeing some few. We're gonna do like miscellaneous, super miscellaneous is the... Okay. <laughs> okay. I think that's all my like really miscellaneous products. Okay, so the first three that I have to show you, um, I'm not showing you these three in particular because of the colors or anything, but really just the brand. So you guys might have known that I have been experimenting with... Uh, <laughs> a lot of things <laughs> I'm kidding I've been experimenting whoop there goes the white with body paint recently and I really like these these are from Mayron and I think they were maybe like four dollars each I got these at my favorite all year round Halloween store called Joker's Wild and again they were only a couple bucks each but I really really like these I think they go on really nice they're so much better than those cheapo cream makeups that you get from like during Halloween you know Walmart Walmart or Target will sell them. They're just complete crap makeup. They just crack. They're itchy. They're awful. I really, really enjoy these. So they made them in my favorites this year. Okay. Oops. I forgot a lotion thing. Check out this packaging. Holy crap. Again, a very, very long time favorite. This thing has been through so much with me, so many breakups, so much drama, but it is my True Blue Spa Look Ma New Hands Hand Lotion. I love this stuff. It makes your hands feel so silky and smooth. And guys, when I say I have had this product for years i mean years do they have an expiration date well if it does it's probably expired but look at the size of this thing and it i still have so much product in here a little really does go a long way with this stuff i will be absolutely repurchasing it when it finally does run out and i feel like when it does run out it's gonna be such a sad day because this little guy has been with me through so much i mean i think i got it maybe freshman year of high school and i don't even know where i got it but I love it. So if you're in a market for a good hand lotion, give this one a try. 
Okay, miscellaneous, miscellaneous, miscellaneous. Okay, so I don't typically have acne prone skin. You know, I'll break out here and there. I've always been that way. But when I do break out, all hell breaks loose and I need my Clean and Clear Acne Advantage Spot Treatment. I love this stuff. It dries up your pimple really, really fast. So what I'll normally do if I have a really bad breakout is I'll wash my face, you know, I'll dry it off and then I apply this after a toner. And it doesn't like, I don't want to say, you know, you're going to go to bed with this product on and the next morning your pimple is going to be magically gone. That That's just not going to happen. But it definitely takes away a lot of the redness, a lot of the inflammation. It makes a pimple much, much smaller. In a couple of days of using this, your pimple is going to be gone. <laughs> my glue again with doing a lot of body paint stuff and getting more into special effects makeup Elmer's glue really comes in handy especially the little glue stick I don't like to use the purple one what I use this for is to cover up my brow so any kind of <laughs> any kind of makeup that I have to do where I have to cover up my brows that is the glue that I go toward but I hate the purple one I feel like it clumps up so bad so the clear Elmer's glue stick is my friend all right so this is a mattifying top coat I got this uh, again, probably around Halloween. It's from Essie, which I love Essie nail polishes anyways. The weirdest thing about this mattifying nail polish is that it has balls in it. <laughs> it, I swear to God, it has like two little balls in there. Can anyone explain to me why, like, why it, I bought it like that? Um, but I used this during my Halloween nail tutorial and it really does just completely mattify your nails. And I've been obsessed with matte everything recently and I love this nail polish. Um, it's a little more expensive than your typical Essie. Like if you were just to go in there and buy like a pink nail polish, the top coat is more expensive. I think this is closer to $10. Other miscellaneous is my bubble gum lip scrub from Lush. Um, I try to use this at least a couple day, a couple times a week because once again, I am a dry person. <laughs> So my lips truly need some help when it comes to, um, you know, chapping and when we definitely get into the colder seasons like we're in now, my lips tend to get really, really dry and my lipstick does not look good going on to dry, crusty lips. So I try to use this like maybe twice, three times a week and it's just a little tub. I think this thing's maybe $10. Oops. But it has a little bit of lip scrub in there. Um, you actually can eat this stuff so if you were to put it on your lips you're allowed to lick it off like it's not gonna hurt you I don't do that but you can <laughs> And of course, it wouldn't be a favorite without my scotch tape. You guys know how much I love scotch tape to get those crisp, clean lines with my eyeshadows. I hope you guys have tried that trick out um, at least once. I typically do the scotch scotch tape trick <laughs> more so for a special events if I want my makeup to be like super super perfect. But for every day, I don't really reach for it. But I just get these little. Um, individual scotch tape dispensers and they're just easy they don't take up a lot of room and the tape is awesome alright I think I am going to do palettes next y'all ain't even prepared for this video okay so we are gonna do palettes next whoa okay camera change I guess um, I grabbed all the palettes that I have been reaching forward all this year I love every single palette uh, of course I don't use every palette every single day a lot of them I do and I'll mention which which ones I do but I, I love these palettes and I would recommend them to anyone. If any of your girlfriends love makeup, your moms, your sisters, your best friend, get them one of these palettes and they'll be so happy. So the first one I'm going to talk about is my Too Faced Brow Envy palette. I got this I think at the beginning of this year and I don't like to show the bottom two because they're so dirty. They're so dirty. <laughs> but they have a blonde and a brunette shade and of course I use the brunette shade but I use this palette every single day when I fill in my brows. So if you're curious about what products I use, I don't use a pomade. I don't use like a little like 
brush with product on it I simply spoolie my brows and then I fill them in with powder using an angled brush no particular order I'm literally just grabbing from the top of the pile but my next favorite is Urban Decay's Vice 4 palette I love this palette I feel like it's a tremendous palette for those people who enjoy nude looks like very subtle looks but at the same time really enjoy pops of color in their their palettes I love this see you got some kind of neutrally matte shades a couple over here as well but in the middle you know you have your hot pink you have your black in case you want to do a smoky eye you have some greens which I have dipped into many many times and you have you know just like this really nice like burnt orangey color I don't know I think this palette was maybe about $60. It is a limited edition as well. I think you can still get it at Sephora, but by the time this video is up, I would double check with that. I don't know how long they keep limited edition palettes up for, but this is an amazing, amazing palette. Next palette is a new favorite, and it's my Carly Bybel palette. Um, Carly Bybel is a beauty guru here on YouTube, and she paired up with BH Cosmetics to create this palette. Now, this is definitely for more so the nude lovers, which I love me a new, a good nude palette. Um, but what really, really, really sold me about the palette was the highlighting, and I call them contour shades over here, but they're actually highlighting shades. So no matter what skin tone you are I feel like you can really use a lot if not all of these colors in this palette and a lot of the highlighting shades can pass off for eyeshadows as well so it's a very versatile palette um, it does have some mattes some little bit of shimmers I don't think there's I don't see any like super shimmery shades it's more so I'm sorry like glittery shades it's more so just shimmers but they are absolutely beautiful and I use this palette every single day simply for these two highlighting shades but I find myself reaching a lot for this color as well for a crease color <laughs> my Coco Contour Palette. This is another palette that I really do reach for every single day. As you see, I've hit pan on several colors. It's so sad. I hate when palettes do that, but I contour with it every single day. I'm a big fan of powder contour. I really only use cream contour if I'm going to like a really special event and I really want my features to be chiseled. But just for like an everyday, I'm going to run errands type of deal or type of makeup look, I always reach for this. My Naked Smoky Palette, um, I was debating on getting this palette because I already have the Naked 1 and the Naked 2, I don't have the Naked 3, and I was like, do I really need another nude palette? Like, I have so many nude palettes, guys. But what I loved about this palette is that, yes, it is a nudes palette, but I mean, look at the name of it. It's smoky. So I figured it was such a nice range of colors. And if, you know, smoky eyes are hard to begin with. And I was explaining this in a vlog not long ago. But, you know, if you have a big palette full of different colors, it's kind of hard to figure out what's going to go good with what and what should you use for a smoky eye and what you really shouldn't use for a smoky eye. So this kind of lies out a palette for you. At the same time, gives you a nice variety to choose from so you know they have this nice purple here they have a lot of grays and a lot of mauves which I really like and then they have you know a couple shimmers over here you're highlighting crease color I just really thought is really really nice to add to my collection galaxy chic palette from BH cosmetics ridiculously ridiculously affordable totally forgot the word there. I got this a while ago and I did a whole review about it. It is so dirty, but it is beautiful. It's full of baked shadows and you can use them either wet or dry. I feel like they're amazing with wet. Why don't I use this more often? I honestly, I'm looking at this color. This color is drawing my eye for some reason and I really want to use it wet. It is gorgeous. If you're a fan of baked eyeshadows, I would really give this a try. Again, it is so, so cheap. 
So now that the palettes are out of the way, I'm literally just going to start grabbing stuff and talking about it. So I'm going to start with some lashes first because I have them right here. But these are Ardell Wispies. Um, I got these from Sally's Beauty Supply um, a couple of days ago. But uh, I usually wear my, like my everyday lashes are typically these, but I stack two on top of each other to create a bigger like fuller and more wispier look um so if you're ever curious about what i'm wearing most likely it's these but i also love these again from ardell these are the double ups number 203 so they're definitely on the more glamorous side but i really love the wispy look of these and i'm i'm going to be wearing these on my christmas eve party which by the time you guys see this i think would have already passed so if i had pictures or posted a video i most likely wore these you guys i will never ever ever stop talking about this and if i do smack me in the face this is my uh, oh my goodness, my Kat Von D Locket Tattoo Foundation. This is actually a repurchase. I will show you the empty bottle. I am not kidding. I've already used a little bit of this because I am totally, I mean totally empty. I love this foundation. If you're not a fan of like full coverage, um, I don't even want to call it heavy, but definitely full coverage foundation, then you're not going to like it. But if you're a fan like I am, I would really recommend giving this a try. Um, funny story, I heard so much about this through YouTube videos and I had bought um, Too Faced Born This Way liquid foundation and I hated it. So I ended up exchanging it and I said, can I just you know exchange it for a different foundation and they said yeah so i ended up buying this and i'm so glad that i did because clearly i love it okay <laughs> i don't know where to start you guys have seen this a thousand times in my tutorials as well this is the professional by benefit i love this primer um i haven't really used like a, a whole lot of primers to be like this is you know the one this is the one for me but i found that this primer is really really good for people who have enlarged pores and yours truly does so it really does just kind of blur and mask your pores and just makes your foundation go on so much more smooth. For concealer, which is kind of gross because it's dirty and I lost the cap and I'm almost out of it, um, but this is the Instant Age Rewind Concealer from Maybelline. Super affordable. I would say it's probably a medium coverage uh, concealer, but it works really, really nicely underneath the eyes. It does crease up a tiny bit, but I do powder my eyes and it really helps with that. Talking about powders, um, I have two different powders here. This one's super dirty because it had like nail polish or something on it. But this is my Airspun Translucent Powder. This is what I use to set the concealer that I just showed you. I love this translucent powder and it's so funny because like my mom said that she used to use this as a teenager and my grandmother said that she used to use it as a teenager. So if it's, I don't, I don't mean to call you Moomy, like old or anything but i'm just saying if somebody has used this for that long clearly it's a good powder um i always get mine at cvs very inexpensive again maybe in the ballpark of like five to ten dollars so i'd give it a try the other powder that i'm going to show you is the urban decay naked illuminated powder in the color aura and i don't reach for this uh super often simply because i really don't go to that many special events um but it is a stunningly gorgeous uh oh my gosh this camera is not going to do any justice uh, trust me it is so pretty it's just a shimmery powder and i love just adding this like to like my chest area. It just kind of gives you your skin that glow that everybody's looking for. Um, I sometimes add it to my cheekbones if I'm going to a really, really special event, but I love this powder. And I believe it also comes in a second uh, a second color. I'm sorry if I feel like, if, if I sound weird, my throat is super dry and I have a lot more talking to do. So eye primers we'll talk about. I love these two. The first one is Too Faced Shadow Insurance. This is more so the primer that I ooh, reach for every day, but using that primer really helps um, my eyeshadows not crease very much. And then the second, uh, the second eye, Oh my goodness. The second eyeshadow base I have is from NYX and it's 
number two I don't know but I use this more for glamorous looks it's a little bit jacked up at the moment but it has a little bit of a shimmer in it and that's why I use it more so for the special events or if I want to use a really shimmery shadow okay so I have a couple blushes to show you I picked these up quite a while ago but they're Milani powder blushes I ended up getting three colors this one is number eight T rose and it's just kind of like a pinky almost a dusty pink but a little bit more pink uh, <laughs> blush. Um, this one is in the color Coral Cove and as the name says it's a really really nice coral color. And then this one is called Romantic Rose which has been my everyday blush for the fall and the winter so I'll show them to you side by side so you get a better idea of the colors. I don't care for the uh, scent of these colors really at all. They have kind of a weird like old clothing sense that's the first thing that came to my head yeah not a fan of the scent but I do love the packaging it's like a gold packaging it's just a little compact and I love the fact that there's roses impl imprinted on them but they do have a really nice color payoff I think these go for maybe eight or nine dollars at your local drugstore but I love them um we will move on <laughs> um I have a bunch of eyeliners to show you of course it would never ever ever be a favorites without my hard candies walk the line liquid liner I use this I don't think I have missed the tutorial that I haven't used this I should probably work on that um, but it's the liner that I use to use my wing super affordable and I love that liner uh, the other three that I've been loving are all from NYX two of them are like sparkly ones they're called um, liquid crystal liners one is in the color crystal gunmetal which is just a nice gunmetal color and the other one is called Crystal Agua, which is just more of a teal. And then I have this one, which is a NYX uh, liquid, studio liquid liner. And this is in the color Extreme Gold. So it's like my black one where it's just gold. No sparkle, no, um, it's a little bit metallic-y, but it's just straight up gold. My brow gel, which sadly I'm so totally out of it. I gotta get some more but this is from Rimmel London Brow This Way. I have been using this for a really long time. I think I bought this at the same time that I bought the um, a naked powder, the shimmery powder that I just showed you which was a long time ago um, but I use this to set my brows every day. Again, super affordable. Sorry if I seem a little bit rushy. I just have a lot of products to go through. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, we will move on to, I guess I'll show you these pigments. So I really, really like these NYX pigments. They're the uh, NYX Ultra Pearl Mania. I have this white one. I have this one, which is called orange, but it's almost like a coppery orange. Um, I have this one, which is called Oro, which is almost like more like a penny color while this one is definitely a little bit more orange so if you think of a penny like a coppery penny that's what that one looks like and then I have this one which is called yellow gold which is exactly what it says it's gold but definitely more on the yellow end um I also have two pigments that I got from MAC which I am in love with both of them um this one is called old gold and it's Stunning. I love swatching these two because they're just so freaking beautiful. I love them. Um, I'm actually pretty new on the bandwagon of MAC uh, pigments. I never really looked for them. I never really shopped for them or anything. Um, but I just happened to be in MAC one day browsing and I was like, oh, well, we'll give their pigment a try. And as soon as I swatched it, I knew I was sold. Um, I had gotten old gold old gold before I got uh, this one which I think is called copper sparkle yes copper sparkle these are probably terrible wow <laughs> awful place to swatch them um whoops okay well that is old gold it's almost like a greenish gold and that one's copper copper sparkle um which I used all over my lids you can kind of kind of see them here but this one's kind of um orangey so just watch out for that because we're talking about shadows um I'll 
keep on that bandwagon. Um, I have been loving these NYX sing singles and I've gotten a variety of colors. So this one is called Heat and it's almost just like a burnt, how do you even explain this color? It's almost a reddish orange dear lord somebody help me explain this color um, I used it in my Rudolph tutorial because I just want a little bit of like a reddish hue added to the makeup but I love this one um, I also have I have a headache which is probably my favorite out of all the ones I'm about to show you which is my go-to highlighting shade and look at that a hit pan so sad. I also have this one which is called Gumdrop which is just a really nice pinky color and I've used it recently in a pink tutorial as well. Then I have this lighter pink shade Ooh, and the name is taken off but it's just it looks very similar to this one but as you see one's just lighter than the other. And this one is a matte gray. I love this one. It's called Craving. And I actually am wearing it today. And it's just beautiful. I loved it. I thought it went nice with the, the dress. And I actually have one that is sort of an unfavorite. Um, I was really bummed out by the color payoff. But it's called Electroshock. And it's just like a cobalt blue almost. But it, it the color payoff just was not there for me. But these are extremely affordable. I think they're under $5 each. So, I mean, sure, if you bought a lot of them, it would definitely get pricier, pricier. But if you just wanted a couple to give a try, I really recommend these. I also have these NYX Baked Shadows. Um, I have a gold and I have a blue. The gold is called Ghetto Gold, which I remember. I didn't like that name. I just... I think it's insulting I don't know <laughs> um, but then this one is called blue dream and when you swatch them dry they're kind of like meh okay but girl wet them and it's like your life is just changed these are beautiful wet so if you've ever bought them and was kind of disappointed with them dry wet your brush and give them a try I promise you won't be disappointed with them then the last um, eyeshadow I have to show you is again from NYX um, but this is called Hot Red and it's their uh, primal colors. Um, I bought this when I was doing the Patriots uh, Super Bowl look that someone had requested and I really needed a true red shadow which I could not find in my collection so I went out and found this from NYX and it is a true red. It came out really really nice in the makeup tutorial. Oh my goodness, I can't even believe like we made it. We're on to lip products, guys, and I really don't have much. So I'm going to show you this one first, which is from the uh, a MAC, which is called Cyber, which I used recently in my Get Ready With Me vlog. Um, but I really like it. I just desperately wish it was matte. But it's such a beautiful plum color. Um, I was looking for a plum color because I had a color. Let me see if I can't find it really quick while I talk to you. I had a color that um, for some reason I thought it was plum when I bought it but it definitely turned into more of a cranberry color which is called Rebel um, for MAC but in the packaging it looked plum but then when I swatched it look one's definitely cranberry and one's definitely plum so when I went into MAC I was like do you have a matte plum color this was the closest I could get but I really really enjoyed the color I thought it was beautiful for fall and winter okay I got one lip liner to show you guys but you probably already know what's coming but it's my raspberry palladio lip liner you can get this at Ulta you can get it at Sally's but I love it the only issue that I have with this lip liner is I kind of go through it fast because I do line and fill in my lips and because it's kind of a creamy pencil lip liner um, sometimes it'll break off oh my god I am out you see what I mean? You run out a lot quicker than you think you would, but they are relatively inexpensive. I always pick up two when I go. Is that like totally crazy? But again, it's in the color raspberry and I love it. It's just a really nice pink. All right, guys, the last... <laughs> 
<laughs> favorites that I have are my Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. Um, I wanted to do like a full video on these, but I wanted to get all the colors that I want, which I think there's maybe like three or four colors that I still haven't gotten my hands on, but I am obsessed with these. And someone reached out to me. I don't remember it. I think she's German, but I don't remember if she actually lives in Germany or just... In Europe in general um, but she said that they actually hadn't come out to Europe which I'm sorry but I'm proud to be an American for this one specific no, I'm, I'm I'm very proud to be an American um, but I'm so glad that these are out in America and once they do come to Europe if they aren't already get your hands on them as quickly as you can because they sell out like crazy um, but I'll very quickly go over what I have. I want to do a whole video on these again. Um, but I have uh, Backstage Bambi, which is just a really nice hot pink. Looks beautiful with Candy Yum Yum from MAC. This was actually the first one that I ever bought. Um, the second one that I bought is this really nice red called Outlaw. Um, then I'm trying to go in like the order that I bought them. Um, then I got L-U-V Love, which is just a really nice purple. Definitely more on the more vibrant purple than like the deep purple. This is not what this looks like. It's definitely more vibrant. Uh, what color did I get next? I'm gonna assume it was this one called... Yes, it was, uh... <laughs> I got this color which is called Mother which is just a really nice toned down everyday wearable pink. Uh, then I whoop, I dropped that one. Then I got Witches which is just the straight up black one. I got this one specifically for Halloween nights. Then I got Damned which is a really deep brown. It's almost black. When I wore it it actually almost looked black um, but I wore it like in a very gothy um, makeup tutorial and my baby right here which actually is the last one that I purchased but this is called bow and arrow and I had to order this one online the rest of them I was able to get my hands on in store um, which is I had to wait to come back in stock and I jumped on it as soon as I saw it but bow and arrow was the one where I was like I had to order it online because no Sephora or nowhere near me was like, I don't know when we're getting that back. It sold out like crazy. But you guys know my lip combo for this year is Palladio's Raspberry with Kat Von D's Bow and Arrow. <sighs> okay, I feel like a oh, weight <laughs> has been taken off my shoulders. That was so much to go for. But again, I'm not just showing you products because I want to seem cool or I want to, you know, brag or whatever. These are true, genuine products that I would recommend to my own mom. And I feel like you guys deserve to know what products that I have been loving for the full year of 2015. So I hope it wasn't too much. Congratulations if you made it to the end. I don't know how long this video was. Oh my god, I have been filming for a total of 54 minutes. So mama's gotta do a lot of editing but i am gonna go ahead and end the video here guys thank you so much for such a fantastic year this year was incredible we hit 500 subscribers we had our own giveaway our first giveaway and i really hope that 2016 brings so much more to us and i'm just so excited so i'm gonna let you guys go but if you want please leave a big thumbs up it really helps support my channel you can also subscribe if you don't want to miss any new videos i vlog every single day for vlog miss but that might be over by now i vlog every single day except for fridays where you get a special video and every monday where you get a makeup tutorial so in my next video i will see you next time bye guys